I'm sorry, with whose freedom is that? Pardon me? Uh, there, there was a phrase you used that I didn't understand. You don't want the government interfering with the right to kill Jews? Yeah. yeah. What's wrong with killing Jews? Yeah. <laughs> what basis? It's against the law. They're people. Right. Why are you killing babies then? Yeah. <laughs> They're people. <laughs> this is a philosophical debate. I said before, I think abortion is horrible. But the question is, do you want the government to sentence people to the electric chair for killing a baby, uh, for, committing, for having an abortion? That's what you're really talking about. Just cut out all this stuff and get right down to brass tacks. You want to make a serious crime out of abortion. You're going to have a country of 30, I don't know, 10, 15 million people who are criminals. You want to live in that kind of a country? It's going to destroy the country. And, and, I'm, and, and, and the second thing is, I don't know whether a fetus is a person or not. But I do know this. Many religions support execution of adult people. And they think that's fine. Retroactive abortion. Pardon me? That's just called retroactive abortion. That's right. Retroactive abortion. <laughs> Easy. Let's rein it in here. Well, it's a valid question because it was legal, the Dred Scott decision, decided, the Supreme Court decided in a majority opinion in a St. Louis courtroom that black people were nothing more than chattel. That was the law of the land. It was legal. And yet, Christians can stand and say that law is wrong. Just because it is legal doesn't make it right. Okay? Personally, I'm opposed to slavery. But I don't want to impose my values on anybody else and say you can't own a slave. That is logically absurd. Just as the question about, I'm personally opposed to abortion, but I don't want to impose my values on anybody else. Every law is an attempt to impose values. Every law is morally or spiritually based. Name me one law, Robert, that is not morally or spiritually based. Speeding laws? Why do we have speeding laws? Because we value human life more than someone's convenience. Why do we have antitrust laws? Because we value the individual more than we do the group, the corporation. Now, there are laws that are morally and spiritually based and not based on the Bible, and with those I would disagree. So we have to decide whose religion is going to guarantee our laws and our liberty. Which religion? Is it going to be the creator? Or is it going to be the consensus of attorneys? Or the consensus of scientists. We have to decide whom we're going to, whom we're going to serve, God or man. Okay, uh, this question is for Bill Jack. Uh, would you please address the question of whether the Founding Fathers were in truth theists? Again, that is a debate for another evening. Um, I'd be happy to debate that. There's plenty of evidence out there that shows that, that uh, of the signers of the Declaration of Independence, of those involved in the Constitutional Convention that the vast majority of those men were committed creationists. They were committed Christians. They recognized that the individual has liberty and worth and value because of the Creator. These were professing Christians. They were not nebulous deists. Thomas Jefferson, even Thomas Jefferson, who was labeled an infidel during his lifetime, um, who, because he rewrote the Bible, cutting out all the miracles, okay? Jeffersonian Bible. He wrote, Can the liberties of a nation be sure when we remove their only conviction, 
the firm basis in the minds of the people that these liberties are a gift of God. This man understood, this man thought more Christian than most Christians do today because of his education. He spent his entire life trying to throw off a Christian mindset. Because of the educational system through which I went, I've spent my life as a Christian trying to throw off a secular mindset. What you pour into a person's mind will determine what he thinks, and what he thinks will determine how he acts, regardless of his heartfelt faith. We need to understand that Christianity is not a privatized religion, as Robert would lead us to believe. They were to love God with all, heart, soul, strength, and... Uh, <laughs> we're to love God with all. It affects... There is no privatized religion. Your religion affects public policy everywhere, and so it should. And thus, this debate on creation evolution in the public school, the ID movement, is a necessary part of our culture. We should be having this discussion. Isn't it ironic?